Have you ever been on Roblox Studio and you wanted your builds? I'm gonna remove this. Do that. If you, have you ever been on Roblox Studio and you wanted your builds to ch look like change from this to this? Well, you're in luck, cause today I'm gonna show you how to change your builds fr from what I showed you before to what the result is now. In just these simple steps, you will change your builds to look a lot more cooler. So for the first step, what you're gonna wanna do is have Explorer, which if you don't know how to open Explorer, um, you should have this at the top. If you don't, then you, your Roblox Studio is probably broken. Um, there's Home, Model, Test, View, and Plugins. Click View. And then you'll see all this kinds of stuff, but none of this is what we're focused on. What we're mainly focused on is Explorer. If this is, if basically this is what it looks like, you're gonna wanna turn Explorer on for this and maybe properties. Um, yes, actually turn Explorer and properties on if you want the light. Turn Explorer and properties on by in view. Um, next step, what you're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna expand this bit like that. Go to scroll down. You um, you should see players, lighting, replicated first, replicated storage, server script service, server storage, starter GUI, starter pack, starter player, sound service, chat, localization service, and test service. But what you're gonna wanna do, focus on lighting. And you might notice in lighting, um, you might think, oh, just turn the brightness off, but that's not the case here, because that just does this, which we don't want this, because that'll hurt people's eyes. Um, let's try this. That changes the shadows, which actually voxel looks a little better. Future, I don't, I'm not even completely sure that this is, ooh, a shadow map voxel yes uh, so you might want to turn on voxel because that makes the shadows more crisp um, then what you're gonna want to do is go into the lightning lighting not lightning lighting and you're gonna see this plus or you could right click it and then go down to um, insert object I believe yeah insert object and then you're gonna see sky atmosphere sunrise effect color correction effect, bloom effect, and blur effect. So what you're gonna wanna do is sun rays effect. Um, I'm not even completely sure what this does. Color correction effect. You can change the brightness, contrast, saturation of each things. Bright, basically, if you don't know what each of these do, brightness changes the brightness from this to this as max. Um, sorry if that hurt your eyes, cause it also hurt my eyes. I would recommend point one or, uh, I would recommend 0.1 or 0.2. I'm gonna change it to 0.2 for now. Then contrast would change it to this, boiled or just completely gray. I would recommend changing that to um, around 0.1 or 0.2. I'm actually gonna do 0.2. No, not 0.3. 0.2. Um, saturation basically change, makes it even more boiled or just depressing. But what you're gonna wanna do is change that to around 0.3 to 0.1. Actually 0.2 to 0.3, I'm gonna do 0.3, no not 0.6. You could just also type in 0 0.3, nope. And then tint color, basically I wouldn't recommend this but basically what it does is change what color it is. If you're trying to make a horror game, you could do red tint color, but I, that wouldn't, oh, that actually kind of looks sick. Anyways, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, I'm, if you're making a horror game, you might consider doing red tint, but you also could change it to the basic tints, which is just color white, if you don't want any tint. Then what you're gonna wanna do for the blur is, so that's what color correction does. Bloom, you might not notice anything at first, but let's grab our little trusty friend, Neon Block. Let's make it, let's make it dark red. What Bloom does is there's intensity, 
which would show the intensity of the lighting around the of the um of the neon block if it's set to zero this just looks like a basic glowing red solid block um if we do this it just oh that actually kind of looks good it looks like salmon oh that's anyways um but bloom uh so i would recommend keep it to one size we would just increase the size of the thing from zero to 56 uh, 56 would around 56 would be recommended threshold um it just shows how far out it goes i'm not even sure zero is like i don't even know what threshold is but basically that's what bloom does and if you're wondering what lighting what the so next after bloom is blur effect starting it out like this it looks like you've lost your glasses um which is not what we want because then you can't even properly see the details of the house but go to blur um so it's set to halfway i would recommend one to ten but it goes from zero which is literally what's the point of equipping blur all the way to 56 which is just i completely lost my glasses and i have like zero 20 vision but I would recommend somewhere between one to 10. And then you might think that's all, but if we scroll down, there is this, there is depth of, of field effect, which we can do that. Far intensity, this shows how far you can see. Focus distance, this sees how far you can focus. In focus, I don't even know what any of this means. I'm just going off what it says. Um, but yeah, sun rays, let's try that out because I'm not even completely sure what sun rays does. Sun rays intensity. Spread. Yeah, I'm not even completely sure what sun rays does. But if you're wondering, if we're wanting a different sky, you can just go to models, type in skybox, um, and then find. I would recommend sunless blue skybox, sunless blue sky skybox, because if we look in it, there's no there's no things that could conclude to a virus, and it looks pretty sick in your game. So if you want your place to change from, um this to this i would recommend following this tutorial and if you don't um then don't just leave um i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video bye